I'm working here in Nairobi, Kenya at Eagle Eye, and I'm a refractive surgeon. When I heard this Aquarius laser is uh, coming to the market, I went to Mr. Zima and said, please let me be the first using it. We need this machine. The big advantage of the Aquarius laser is that it is very much independent of humidity and temperature compared to other lasers. The results were very promising and uh, we have a lot of happy patients. I didn't know we were getting the most cutting edge technology that's available right now in this part of the world. You don't even know that it's happened. It's so quick, so precise that I even had to ask the doctors like, um, are we really done? I was able to start seeing really clearly like that evening. I thought 2020 was the best, but based on my post checks, it's now 2015, which is much better. The best thing about Eagle Eye is that uh, we are patient centered and we are innovative as well. Some of them are asking even before they come that we hear that you have this thing. The problem with the eczema lasers is the gas. And gas has become very expensive and it's also very hard to get the gas here in Nairobi in Kenya. The Aquarius laser, this is the only laser using no gas. It's using laser crystals as a totally new technology. It's not an eczema laser, it's a basically a solid state laser machine. I'm, I'm having these discussions with colleagues all the time. I don't see a disadvantage, especially the combination of the Z8 with an Aquarius makes a lot of sense, including the Galileo G6, and, and that's all you need. So the OR was always packed. Yeah, they're really interested in seeing the new Zimmer laser in place here. We bring it, we install it, we train doctors, we train a surgical team. We assist surgeries. We can react faster on what the market needs. It's simple to use. The results are immediate. I mean, that is something that everybody all aims towards, and the patients are happy. Aquarius will be a very big game changer for ophthalmologists, for refractive surgeons. Refractive surgery has changed dramatically within the last 10, 15 years, and I believe it will be a success story.